What you guys got another video here for you. This one's a, a rogue, and as you can see, it's called System Progressive uh, Protection. It's an antivirus program or fake antivirus program. And uh, as you can see, what it's doing is doing fake scans of my system, and it's saying I'm heavily infected with spyware, adware, backdoors, trojans, and uh, other stuff. Rogues here. You can see it's listing loads of stuff here. Now, if you was disinfected, the system probably wouldn't boot anyway, so it's all fake. Um, but what they're trying to do is coax you into paying for it. And as you can see, it looks pretty convincing. I haven't seen a rogue for a while. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty convincing. Now, uh, what they're trying to do is get you to go to this page and pay for the product. And as you can see, what they're asking for is 88 uh, 45 or 88 89.95 US dollars, which is all fake as well. So you don't want to be paying for this type of thing. I'm going to show you how to remove it uh, easily. So what we're going to do is close this off. Now if you do want to put the registration code in, I will show you the registration code now. The registration code is on the screen, and that's the code you can use to enter in here. Now what that does, it doesn't remove it from the system, it registers the program, which then allows you to run other programs on the system, i.e. Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, any sort of uh, virus killing program that you want to run. Okay, This program will stop it. So by putting the code in, that's what it will allow you to do. But the best way to do it is always boot up into safe mode with networking. And if you don't know how to do that, then the instructions are on the screen right now. Just follow those instructions and get to safe mode with networking, and you can run malware bytes, and it should remove that from the system. Okay, so what we're going to do is remove it from the desktop anyway. And uh, there's many different ways of removing these. Um, but I'm going to show you where it lives anyway. You should see an icon on your desktop, and you can right click on this and go properties. And uh, as you can see on Windows 7, it's uh, Programs Data, that's a hidden folder. So to find that, it'll be in your C root directory there, and I'll show you how to find that. For Windows XP, the location's on the screen right now. Okay, so let's go to Show Hidden Files here, Organize, Folder and Search Options. You see me do this a million times, View. Show hidden files, folders, and drives, and also I'm going to take the tick out of hide extensions. Click OK. Go into a C drive here, and we should now see a folder called Program Data. Go in there, and there's the actual folder, and there's the actual culprit there that's causing the issue. Now you could rename these or do other different types of things, I should imagine, but we're going to remove it from the desktop. So what I'm going to do here is let me just bring this forward. I'm going to go back to my computer here, go to the top, click on the actual computer sign there, click delete, and then that will allow us to type in a path for a downloaded file, what you may want to use, and then that will allow us to type in an actual website address. So we're going to do live.sysinternals.com forward slash proc exp dot exe and this will allow us to download this uh, file that's going to kill the process now there's loads of different ways of doing this and uh, this is just one way um, from the desktop if you wanted to do it from here and now that's down I'm going to drag this onto my desktop can now close this off and there we can see our file I'm going to need to rename this I'm going to type I explore exe that's right, so already got dot exe there so I'll just take that back so I explore dot exe see if we can get this to run and it will accept that's now running and what we're going to do here is I'll pull this to the side you see me do this before it's pretty simple this program will pretty much run on all of these types of rogues and you can kill it very easily and there we are we're looking for the setup dot exe file and uh, we're just going to right click on this and kill process click OK and that's the process now killed what we could do now is run a program to remove the actual file or you can actually go to the location itself and remove it manually yourself and then run some scans so we're going to delete this folder like so and now with that deleted, I'm going to close this off, and then we're going to run 
I'm going to close this off, get rid of that. Then I'm going to run uh, Malwarebytes. Click yes to that. I'm going to do an update here. And then you want to run a scan to kill off any other remnants left behind. You can clean up the system while that's doing that. OK, that's the scan now finished. I'm going to click OK here. Look at results. And as you can see, there's some registry keys added here. We're going to get rid of the other program here and these links. Get rid of all this stuff. Just uh, remove selected. Keep the log file if you wish. And then I'm going to reboot the system. The next tool I want to run is just a TDSS killer. I'm going to run this just to make sure there's no rootkits on the system that have been dropped with this uh, rogue. That's all good. And you can also make scans with Hitman Pro as well. So you can also run a scan with a uh, rogue killer, another great tool. Just run a quick scan of this and this will see if there's any registry keys found there. And also you can check the host and the proxy with this program as well. And the DNS. And as you can see there's nothing uh, wrong there. You can click on fixed hosts and fixed proxy if you wish. Um, but basically, yep. Just click on the delete. And that's pretty much it for that video, so I hope that helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoyed them. I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.